My name is Ben Lukuyu. I'm an animal nutritionist uh, working for Eury and I'm based in Eury, Kampala. I'm part of the team that has been developing the feast tool for the last seven years at um, Eury and I've become so passionate about the feast tool. My role has uh, mainly been to um, support the training and um, make sure that the tool is used widely by our partners. <clears throat> Feast tool has uh, increasingly um, gained importance in its use. It's uh, been used in East Africa, um, many parts of uh, Africa, Asia, and it's a tool that has gained importance due to it, the fact that it's easy um, to use, quick, and not expensive and rapid. We began to then um, uh, train trainers who then put the, the tool into use. And we began to get feedback from all over uh, the areas where we have uh, promoted the feast tool. Uh, the f one of the main things that we got from Feast is that its usefulness. The fact that uh, uh, Feast can easily, you can easily apply Feast over one day and you get your results. And within a very short time you are able to come up with the reports and you have an idea of the problems, opportunities and potential feed interventions in um, in a particular site where you're working but also we we, we got feedback about the fact that uh, uh, feast is gender blind and uh, it doesn't take into consideration um, gender issues uh, the feeds and forages team um, took this criticism on board and we we began to um, look at options and think of ways on how to engender the feast tool and uh, make it better. With the help of the kit team um, and the, the gender experts within Erie and also the, the feed experts, we initiated a process uh, to begin to to revise the feast tool so that it captures or it or it becomes gender uh, sensitive. I was, yeah. I was involved in the this team that uh, protested the the gendered feast tool in um, Tanzania, and uh, there, there are several um, things that really struck me. One was that we were missing a lot of data out. Um, uh, uh, compared to the old version of the, 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 the tool. Uh, for example, uh, there were opportunities, there were many opportunities to collect data on uh, disaggregated uh, data on men and women, which we, we missed out on that. Um, there were many other issues around looking at uh, issues around roles, who was doing what. Uh, there were issues of uh, who is benefiting from, from, from the feeds and forages technologies, issues around preferences, issues around problems and opportunities, and ranking them and actually looking at the differences uh, of what men prefer and what women prefer, what they consider important, and so on and so forth. Yes, uh, the, the, the striking differences I would see is that uh, uh, women tended to begin to give solutions that would reduce their drudgery and and, and uh, because men women do most of the course around feeding the cow uh, and even sourcing for that feed and they were much more thinking about technologies that would make those processes uh, easy uh, men were thinking about technologies that would would uh, increase feed availability for example uh, and, and hence productivity so you could see that there was a distinct uh, preferences between men and women uh, that was about the tools themselves but also the other aspect we were looking at was the the process of 
of conducting the fee stool. And we, the gender experts also reviewed that process and recommended section areas where we could improve to ensure that we collect uh, uh, data uh, accurately. And one of the recommendations was separating groups um, uh, having separate men and women groups. And there I also noticed that uh, there were a lot more discussions, particularly amongst uh, the women themselves, who, you know, otherwise they would not normally do that from my experiences in the past. But even among us men, there were good discussions and, and exchange of ideas among us them and coming to consensus over issues uh, within those separate groups. And I found that uh, pretty much uh, interesting on the process. So the other aspects were, were you know, we, we discovered that you you've got to be careful about who you are talking to in those groups um, particularly um, what roles do respondents play in households uh, and, and that really determined the kind of feedback or or, or uh, or, or, or answers that we would get fr from groups. Um, but having said that, there is also a challenge. Uh, the whole process, first of all, uh, almost doubled the time that the current fee tool uh, would take. And this is because um, it goes into details of collecting uh, detailed gender information and as a team we are now looking at uh, what options are, are, are there or, or what trade-offs we can take and decide on what needs to be included in the new gender tool and what needs not to be included for the simple reason that we want to make sure that fees retains its usefulness uh, of of being able to 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 be used uh, quickly and and um, and easily